Ethernet is a communication standard that was developed in early 80s to network computers and other devices in a local environment such as home or a building. This local environment is defined as LAN or local area network and it connects multiple devices so that they can create store and share information with other devices in the location. Ethernet is a wide system. It started with using coaxial cable and is successfully progressed and now using twisted pair copper wiring and fiber optic wiring. Who invented the twisted pair cables? Alexander Graham Bell invented twisted pair wiring in 1881. In 1983, internet was standard as E802.3 by Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. This standard defines the physical layer and MAC or media access control portion or data link layer of the wired ethernet. There are two layers defined as the first two layers of the OSI or open system interconnection. Physical layer consists of the following components 1. Cabling 2. Devices First, let's take a look at Ethernet cabling as stated previously. Ethernet cables comes as coaxial cables which is not very common except in older installation. Twisted pair cables and fiber optical cables The most common cable is twisted pair cable with the latest with the category 6 with speeds up to 1 gigabits per second and category 6a and category 7 with speeds up to 10 gigabits per second category 5 and 5e are still used in many existing applications but end up in lower speeds up to 100 megabits per second Ethernet twisted pair cable utilizes 8 pin RJ45 connector at both ends of the cable. This can transmit and receive data in half and full duplex mode. Half duplex transmits data in one direction at a time. Full duplex allows data transmission in both directions at the same time. Full duplex can be achieved by using two twisted pair cables to allow the data to travel in both directions simultaneously. Fiber optical cable use glass or plastic fiber optic cables as a way for the light pulses to travel to transmit data. It allows Ethernet to travel at higher distances and at a faster rate. Fiber optic cables use several types of connector. Most famous are SFP, small form pluggable connector, and SC, also known as care or standard connector. In order to use the fiber optic in an Ethernet network, they utilize twisted pair Ethernet cabling. You need to use Ethernet to fiber converter that will allow you to take advantage of high speeds of the fiber optic and at a great distances which is not possible with twisted pair copper cables. Now we will discuss about the Ethernet devices. Ethernet devices consist of PLCs, computers, HMI or any devices connected to the network via internal or PCI based network cards. Switches and routers that act as directors of the network can connect multiple computers or given network together to enable communication between all the different devices. Gateways and bridges are used to connect the multiple Ethernet networks together and allow the communication between them. Gateway connects two dissimilar networks together while bridge connects two similar networks together so they can see only one network. Now we have finished the physical layer of the Ethernet. Now we will see the data link layer. 
The data link layer can be splitted into two separate sections. Logical link control or LLC or media access control or MEC. The logical link control enables the path for the data on the Ethernet to transmit between the devices. The media access control uses the hardware addresses that are assigned to the network interface cards to identify the specific computer or the devices to show the source and the destination for the data transmission. Ethernet transmit data packets in this data link layer by using an algorithm called CSMA CD, which is carrier sense multiple access with collision detection. The algorithm is used to reduce the data collisions and increase the successful data transmissions. The algorithm first checks if there is any traffic on the network. If there is no traffic, it will send the first bit of information to see if collision will occur. If this bit is successful, then it will send out the other bits still testing for the collisions. If the collision occurs, the algorithm calculates the waiting time and then starts all the process all over again until the transmission is completed. When you use the faster Ethernet in full duplex mode using switches, then we using star topology between the switch and the devices. This allow more direct transmission paths for communication and less collisions as compared to the bus topology where all devices shares the same path. Ethernet is advancing every day and now we are moving from 1 gigabits per second to 100 gigabits per second. If we connect our local area network or LAN to internet, then there are endless possibilities. We will create a WAN or wide area network. Ethernet is very popular because it makes a perfect balance for data transmission speed, system cost and installation cost. In addition, with the wide acceptance in the industrial computers and its ability to support almost all the protocols makes it perfect choice for the projects. This is the end of the today's video. I hope you like it. Please subscribe my channel for the more videos. Till next video, take care and goodbye.